thank you so much for just being here, for just taking a moment out of your day to watch this and hopefully get something from it, whether it be inspiration, some sort of healing, encouragement, or anything. That's really what I hope to get out with these videos. So yeah, let's just jump into this one. We're being guided and the universe is on our side. Whatever comes your way, maybe it's meant to be. Maybe it's not, but if you think about it as maybe it is meant to be, I feel like that's a better way to look at it in terms of being accepting of what comes your way and getting you through stuff. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. I have a clue as to like what I want to do, but ultimately I'm not lost. I'm just going with the flow, but I'm okay with that because I know society puts it out for you to think that like, oh, you have to go to school, you have to get a degree, you have to go and get a job in some field, but honestly, that's not for everybody. And I know that that's not meant for me. And if you're on that same path, I wish you love and light because it's difficult going the different route, going the route that not many people go through. Because sometimes you don't have that safety and that security that like, oh, you're for sure gonna get a job after you get that degree. But when you don't have a degree and you're just like, winging life like you really never know what's gonna come your way but honestly i'm so glad that i chose this path because i've learned so much about myself by choosing me and choosing knowing more about me choosing my life i'm honestly just so glad that i chose myself instead of what i thought i was supposed to do with my life because in this different route that i took i've learned so much about myself and who i am and what i dream of doing and my values and my beliefs and <laughs> i've just gained so many life experiences in the time that i took a gap year and it's honestly elongated to another year but I'm okay with that and it makes me like kind of emotional because it's really been an eye-opening journey for me and I'm smiling so much because I'm just so happy other people can think about what I'm doing and just be like oh my god like they really have no idea what they're doing but honestly even if I don't what's it to you like i'm happy and i'm thriving i'm the happiest i've ever been and it really makes me emotional because when you're someone who has depression happiness doesn't come to you easily like you kind of have to work for it and so for me to just wake up and be happy with what i'm doing be happy about who i am be proud of myself for getting myself this far like it brings you so much joy i'm sorry i just overthink so much and like i really do think twice about what it is that I'm doing because that's just ingrained in me just thinking twice about what I'm doing because I've always been very insecure about myself but that's something that I'm learning to just let go of it doesn't serve me well thinking twice about me as a person and who I am and what I say because ultimately what I say and what I do it has meaning and it's valuable because sometimes I feel like my voice is not being heard but that just means that I'm around people who don't value my opinion or don't value what I have to say but that just means i have to be able to take myself out of that situation and put myself in a better one where i do feel like i'm being valued and i do feel like i'm being heard i'm just thinking about where i want this video to go because i'm thinking about my insecurities i'm thinking about my life but honestly it all has to do with the same thing it's all under the same umbrella of figuring my life out figuring out more about me thinking about my thinking patterns and how it's affecting me and wanting to change it like this interaction that i have with myself just made me realize that i needed to change my overthinking patterns i'm honestly learning to let that go like it's been really difficult just because i've always been the type to care about what other people think and recently as i'm progressing in my journey and learning more about me i'm learning that what i have to say and what i have to do does have value and i don't have to think twice about what it is that i'm saying or doing because i can say and do whatever i want and i won't have to feel judged by other people especially Especially because I've changed my friend group and who I surround myself with so my voice is being heard honestly <laughs> this video is all over the place but that's okay because we're here to learn together like this is a journey for all of us and if this resonates with you in any way that's how I know we're along the same journey because we're both just learning we're both growing we're both healing we're changing our negative habits and patterns 
to be able to change them into something better for ourselves, not only like mentally, but emotionally, spiritually, physically, anything. That little moment I had with myself, that's something that I've been experiencing these past two years with just moving out, living on my own, not following the path that everybody else has followed. Like I'm really just following myself and I'm trusting myself. And honestly, that's enough for me because it's been all but great experiences just doing that. And while that can be scary for some because there's no stability, there's no security, it's going to be okay. Like, it's going to be fine. I mean, I've been fine. I mean, look at me. I'm living in an entirely different city. If you didn't know, I moved from Houston to Oklahoma City for a year. And from Oklahoma City, I moved to Portland by myself <laughs> with literally just the power of me, my heart, my brain, my soul. I got myself this far and... I know you can too. It's been a fucking hell of a journey, but it's the thing that I'm most proud of. Just putting myself out here, getting myself this far, doing what it is that I love to do without any mind of any other. Like I haven't taken my family's thinking into consideration. I haven't taken my friends thinking into consideration or random people because that's honestly something that I've thought of literally all of my life. Like I literally couldn't think, say, or do anything without thinking about how other people will perceive me. But now that I've taken that out of the equation and I've just been doing me, I've literally been the happiest that I've ever been in my entire life because I've just been doing me. I've been putting myself first. I've gotten myself out of friendships, out of relationships, out of situations that didn't serve me because I put myself first. And if you can take anything from this video, it's to put yourself first. If you know that situation, that relationship, that friendship isn't serving you, get out of it. I promise you, things will be better. Better things will come to you if you get rid of the situation. You have to get rid of the old to bring in the new. And that's something that I learned from a tree. They change like the season. They lose leaves, but they lose them and then they grow new ones. You have to be able to get rid of the old to bring in the new. And <sighs> I'm just thinking about how I've really gotten myself this far by just trusting myself, by trusting my intuition, trusting that the universe is going to bring me something amazing, something worthwhile, something that I love. And so far it has, like, I'm the happiest I've ever been. And it's because I followed my intuition, because I followed my heart, because I trusted that if I followed my heart, good things were gonna come and good things have come. I'm in my new place with amazing people. I have amazing roommates. I have amazing friends here. I'm in a part of town that I didn't even think that I could live in, but here I am and I made everything work. It really goes to show that if you follow your heart and you stay true to yourself and you trust that everything's gonna be okay, you'll make it. You'll be able to follow your dreams. And that's a bit of advice that I need to take for myself right now too, because sometimes fear gets in the way and it doesn't let you follow the things that you want to do but that's how you know to just like pick up that fear flick it out and just get rid of it and replace that fear with faith and trust and hope because it'll get you far especially love especially love love can get you so far if you just open your heart and open your mind to experiences and opportunities your life will change for the better but make sure your intuition is telling you that it's okay because you need to be safe. But if you just have that open heart and that open mind, amazing things will come to you. And I feel like I am like a guinea pig to like this experiment of just like following your heart and trusting that everything will be okay. And I'm doing it to be able to show you that you can too. I didn't think that this would be possible when I didn't have this abundance mindset, but it's possible and everything will be okay. Follow your heart, follow love, trust in the universe trust that everything will be okay and it will be and be proud of yourself for the things that you've gone done so far be proud of the things that you've accomplished even if they aren't big things to anybody if they're big things to you be proud of them i moved over here to portland and that might not be a big thing to other people but it's a huge deal for me and that's all that matters and i'm just gonna be proud of myself either way because i got myself out of situations to be able to get here to where i am now i know that i kind of went on a whole rant but I really do hope that you enjoyed what I said and I hope it inspired you in some way to just like follow your heart and do what it is that you want to do because you deserve it you deserve happiness you deserve love you deserve everything 
that you could ever imagine for you to come true. And I hope all your dreams do come true. But yeah, that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next week. Bye.